this is Xenia and today I am making a deviled egg salad and the first thing that I'm doing is peeling eggs so you go ahead and peel like six or seven eggs and I'm only using the eggs that were floating when I did a, a buoyancy test on the eggs so I'm only using those floating eggs and they're perfect for this dish this is just regular easy to find store-bought Heinz sweet relish and you can use regular relish or sweet relish I'm just gonna use two tablespoons I eyeballed it and of course Nancy's pharmacy salsa that she grows in her backyard and makes in her kitchen I love all of her products they are the very best organic pesticide free delicious wholesome nutritious and I'm gonna use two tablespoons here of Nancy's salsa adds a great flavor and you know when we're done with this it, not, no one ingredient overpowers the other this is a d wonderful store-bought, easy-to-find, Grey Poupon Dijon mustard. I prefer that over the other mustards. And I think I bought this on sale anyway. And I don't use like five or six different spoons. I just use the same one. I just wipe it clean on that towel that you see in the back. Because that's just too many dishes. It's ridiculous. Who does that? I don't. I don't have the time or the energy to use five or six teaspoons and tablespoons. So here we go. Um, regular store-bought Miracle Whip. Easy to find. No difficult ingredients that you have to like custom source from special places. And um, you can use mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. I usually make my own mayo. But for this video, I wanted to make it with just easy to find store-bought ingredients. So that's what I did. And here is easy to find store-bought pink Himalayan salt. And I'm only going to use about a teaspoon and a half and I'm just pouring it in my hand. I eyeball it. And this is great for minerals and it doesn't have that strong salty white salt flavor either. And of course, fresh ground pepper to taste. I forgot to bring over the paprika, but I bought some paprika from the store to make this video. And I think I got it at Winco, but I'll bring it over in a little bit. So I'm just using like a wide fork to smash everything. And I'm gonna leave the whites kind of chunk and blend everything together nicely just simple I mean this you can make this in under five minutes I mean this video is like four and a half minutes super simple super easy and wholesome delicious and again I want to emphasize that no one flavor overpowers another flavor with the amounts and the types of condiments that I'm using so it just works out perfectly and I'm using all ingredients that are easy peasy to source and you can substitute whatever you like so that you know for your special special dietary needs thanks for joining me here today and i hope you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and here i do videos on what i do here at the farmhouse on the farm and you know i hopefully these videos help you so here's what I'm going to go and get the, oh, the floor. I ripped out the floor and have not had a new floor put in yet, but it's coming soon. Here's the paprika, and I think it was sourced at Winco. Just a touch on the top, just for color and just a little extra flavor. Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you love this kind of content, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Be blessed.